Hey friends, this is Atif Opier. Well, and welcome to the new update on Algorand. As in my previous videos, I've been showing you that after breaking out the resistance of a long down channel on the daily time frame chart, the price line has formed another descending triangle. And now the movement is quite squeezed inside this triangle. Therefore, we can expect that soon it can break this pattern. And in today's video, I would like to show you this move once again. And I would also like to show you this huge falling wedge pattern and this double bottom that is getting formed inside this falling wedge pattern as well. But before starting this analysis, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe. And for more trading signals, you can also join me and support me as a YouTube member or as a Patreon member because here I'm sharing different trading signals for you. And you can find a link to join me here in the video's description I've shared. And if you would like to see how my trading signals work, then I've also shared the link for the uh, previous month trading signals report in the video's description. And you just need to open that report. And for example, if you would like to check or verify any trading signal, like this is a trade setup for uh, auction, you just need to click on the link and it will take you to the trading views chart. And there is a play button available on every chart there. And you just need to click that play button like I'm going to do here. And after clicking this play button, it will show you how the price then moved up from the buying zone and rallied to the sell targets on. Now, let me take you to the live chart of Algorand. And first of all, I would like to show you uh, this descending triangle that is formed after breaking out this uh, long down channel. You can see it was moving inside this channel since after the 3rd of April. And the price then has broken out the resistance, but could not uh, break out this next resistance of the descending triangle. And you can see this resistance is coming all the way from here, from 27th of April. And we have several ejections. And now after getting rejected by this resistance here on 17th of July, uh, for the past several days, the price ended moving at the support of this descending triangle. At the same time, we can see that now on this daily time frame chart, the stochastic has again entered the oversold zone. Previously, when we can see that we were testing the support here and stochastic was entered the oversold zone, we had a nice pump. And here again, it happened when the price end dropped down at the support and stochastic was also entered the oversold zone. You can see we had another pump and the price end tried uh, to break out the resistance of this triangle but got rejected and again while inside uh, at the support of this triangle the price line is moving at the support and you can see that uh, stochastic has again entered the oversold zone and now recently we have received this bull cross that is a buying signal and there is a probability that uh, as uh, if it will repeat the previous history like it is doing every time if the price is at the support and stochastic on the daily time frame chart is entering oversold zone then you can see it is uh, moving up with the stochastic to uh, break out the resistance. And if it will uh, repeat this history once again, then I'm expecting that it can make another attempt to break out the resistance. Somewhere here, the resistance will be approximately at 11.5 cents. And now if we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, then yes, here uh, we have the formation of a very big falling wedge pattern. And the movement is now quite squeezed inside this wedge. And we are also forming a double bottom here. You can see the price and form this bottom here. And now it is forming another bottom here. Therefore, now there is a probability that if the price end will break out this triangle, then soon it may also break out the resistance of this big falling wedge pattern on this weekly time frame chart as well. And now if we take a look at the target, uh, the conservative target for the breakout from this triangle, uh, then the target can be here. That will be approximately at 17.2 cents. And the final target for this huge breakout from, from this uh, down channel is here at the top of the channel that can be between 20 uh, 23 to 24 cents. And the final target, once the price end will be able to break out this big falling wedge pattern, will be here at the top of the wedge. That can be between $2.70 to $3. So this was the update so far. I hope that you have liked the analysis. Then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well. And for more trading signals, you can also join me and support me as a YouTube member or as a Patreon member. Because here I'm sharing different trading signals for you. And you can find a link to join me here in the video's description I've shared. Take care. Goodbye.